Okay, I'm uh, recording here at the High Park Nest. Um, I'm looking at uh, one of the hawklets that's clearly visible uh, standing up on the rim. Um, but uh, maybe about five minutes ago before I set up the camera, uh, I could clearly see, um, I'm virtually certain of two others for sure that were also kind of moving around. Uh, I saw one head, so I saw a head of a second one and another movement from um, what I believe was a third one. And I'm certainly not uh, going to be surprised if uh, um, there's even a fourth uh, in there. Oh, I see some movement off to the right, right at the edge of the camera level. That might be another one of the hawklets. Um, that's kind of off to the right. I didn't realize actually that the nest structure kind of extended in over that far to the right. Um, <clears throat> last year um, there were four fledged from the same nest so uh, certainly it's not uh, unreasonable to suspect that uh, four is a reasonable number for this year. Um, and so like I said I'm pretty sure three um, but with this nest, it's a lot harder to uh, tell how many there are up there um, compared to, to two years ago. Uh, last year, I really only uh, confirmed four fledglings uh, finding them off the nest uh, after they'd fully fledged. Um, but you can see the feather development looks like uh, all the primaries and secondaries are pretty much in, and uh, you can see this one is preening what remains of some of its down. Um, so they're probably getting um, you know pretty close to branching phase. Um, I hope none have actually started branching yet because uh, at least at this nest that would make it very hard to know um, where they are and you could easily miss one um, if you haven't seen them all together at the same time. And I'm really hoping to kind of confirm numbers uh, and then maybe get closer, you know, uh, footage of them once they've fledged. 